Okay, so here is my dad's 2011 Honda Odyssey purchased here in Canada. Um, the van comes with originally Continental Conti Pro contact tires. Really good tires, couldn't complain, can't complain much about it. Um, not the best in rain, but really quiet on the highway. Great tires overall. Um, but I want to make a note about the service limit. We've just hit 50,000 kilometers and it has already reached its service limit. Um, I'm sure you could probably go over the service limit and still be safe. But um, recently we went on a family vacation and had a flat on one of the tires which required replacing the whole tire. Um, and it's in the back here. And here in Canada, it's rather difficult and you don't have that many choices to purchase in terms of tires. So we went to Canadian Tire and they recommended they did not sell Continental. In fact, a lot of stores in Canada does not sell Continental products. And Canadian Tire recommended us to buy the Cooper Discoverer SLT tire. <clears throat> they said this one is the closest to the original tire. So we've installed it, went on a few more family trips. And the reason why we're changing tires today is because this tire sounds like an helicopter on the highway and it is an absolute headache. So I would not recommend getting this tire or maybe it's just a combination of three Continental tires and one Cooper tire that creates that helicopter effect while driving down the highway. But it is really, really annoying. So I did my research and I thought I'd put, post it up on YouTube for you guys to Take a look at it it probably applies more to Canadians because um, our neighbors um, in America probably have more tire choices than us but hopefully my video will help you out. okay so um, to first of all let me apologize for the poor quality of my video you're actually staring at the screen of my laptop um, I'm not really sure how to put this up into my video other than recording it with a camera but uh, to begin the size you need for your 2011 Honda Odyssey and I'm pretty sure all the other Honda Odysseys from 2011 to 2015 um, the vehicle and the tire specs have not changed so what the tire you need is 235 width 65 profile 17 inch um, and here is the list of tires that I could physically get in Canada, Edmonton, Alberta um, without going above and beyond uh, purchasing overseas or um, in, from the States. These are tires that you could get at Cow Tire, Canadian Tire and Costco um, and maybe even Walmart. So highlighted in yellow is the Continental Conti Pro Contact um, and then these are the recommended tires. I ended up, the, the two tires that are highlighted in green are the tires that I ended up choosing between um, just because they seem like they're the best bang for the buck. Um, so for me personally, the definition of best is that they are good value, um, good performance, and um, good longevity. They don't have to have the best grip um, because you can see here if you want the best grip, you would probably go with a Michelin Primacy or Pirelli Scorpion Verde and here you can see um, the grip is actually the best on the Continental Conti Pro Contact but like I said um, these ratings here they're called a UTQG rating it is a government rating called Uniform Tire Quality Grading, grading. and what that means is first of all they have a score for your tread um, the higher the number the better that means um, it will last longer. So for example, if you have a UTQG of tread 200 um, versus one with a 100, the 200 would last twice as long. I hope I got my facts right, but that's what I got from my research. So for example, here then, Bridgestone Alenza at 800 is very good. And then here, BFG Long Trail Tour at 440 is very bad. And these tires are all recommended by the shop, so I didn't know um, their UTQG rating before until I did my research and then um, 
I also listed the pros and cons that I gather from forums. Some of them don't have a lot of information on the internet. Some of them have a lot of review, such as the Michelin Primacy MX V4. It, this tire is designed for high-end luxury cars. Um, it is also the OEM tires for 2012 Odyssey and uh, newer. So apparently the problem is they're very good on grip. Here you can see that the gripping, the grip rating here is actually for just for dry grip. So there is no indication of how well it performs in the rain or in the wet. But um, on the forums, a lot of people are saying that this tire performs super good. It's very quiet. Um, it's very good on grip. But one problem that everyone talks about is that they're expensive. As you can see here, the price quoted for me in Canada is nine hundred and ninety-three dollars and fifty-five cents, and they're also um, they also don't last that long. As you can see reflected here, they're five hundred, exactly like the Continental Conti Pro Contact that came with my car. Um, that's because uh, rumors has it this tire is designed for a lighter luxury car. So when you put it on a minivan, um, they do lose their tread rather quickly. Same for Pirelli Scorpion Verde, very expensive at $831. Um, and actually, I think it might even be more. But anyways, uh, they're all around pretty good according to forums. Um, their they're, they're cons is that they're expensive. They seem to have a better tread life than the Primacy and a similar dry grip rating. Um, looking down at Cooper, I don't want to consider Cooper anymore just because of the fact that installing my Cooper uh, made my mini fan sound like a helicopter. It might be different for you and if you like Cooper, go ahead by all means get Cooper. I didn't get a price quote from Canadian Tire. Um, but for me, I ended up with the Bridgestone Alenza being one of the cheapest tires with one of the longest tire tread life and overall pretty good dry grip. Uh, first is the Michelin Premier LTX. Um, it has a tread life of 620, which is slightly better than the Continental Conti Pro Contact. Um, price, 842. Yes, it's deep, but currently there is a $70 rebate, so it brings down your total to a quite affordable price for the quality that it, that it provides. Um, it seems like the Premier LTX is used quite frequently and it also seems to be uh, a better performance than the Alenza. The reason I'm saying this is because we can switch to um, this Reddit post I found. So you can see here um, the relative total miles reported for the Michelin Premier LTX is a bit less than all the other ones because it just came out not too long ago but you can see the ratings here it is ranked number one it has high ratings from basically everyone who bought it um, and for me I think noise was one of the one of the biggest factor that I consider because I want my highway drives to be as quiet as possible and here is where the Michelin Premier LTX came um, took the lead compared to the Alenza the Lancer received a rating of 8.7 and the Premier Michelin Premier LTX received a rating of 9.5. So definitely um, look at the UTQG rating, um, compare which one uh, you like and also whether it is available to you at all without going put, putting in too much effort to get it. But um, from my research, I think the Michelin Premier LTX is the best bang for the buck. Um, I also want to add that uh, it has a low rolling resistance technology integrated into it compared to the Bridgestone Alenza, which does not. So based on these factors, I decided to go with the Michelin Premier LTX. I'm sure most of the other tires here are fine, but this is what my research indicates. Okay, so I'm in my dad's van now, driving to Costco. It is about a 20 kilometer trip um, with speeds any ranging anywhere between 0 to 80 kilometers per hour. I'll be driving the exact same route there and back. So as a little test, I will be using a decibel meter on my iPhone. 
right here to test the in-cabin sound and record the maximum decibel level reach for these tires so um, right now I'm running on the three Continental tires and one Cooper tire on my way back I'll be running on the new tires so I have arrived at Costco now and um, the maximum decibel sorry I'm still talking and I forgot to stop my decibel meter but the maximum decibel reading while driving um, from 0 to 80 kilometers for a 20 kilometer trip here was 84 decibels peak around 65 um, not really sure why it's called peak to be honest but average I would see anywhere between uh, 70 to 75 at around 60 kilometers per hour um, now I'm gonna get the tires changed and we'll see if there's any difference So here's a close-up of the tires. You can see that the tread is nearly the same as the Continental's uh, original tires. The sidewall looks a bit more rugged and the LTX denotes that it is for light trucks. Um, being uh, as heavy as it is for this van, I think this tire is more well suited for this vehicle. And I'm expecting that the tread will last me longer than 50,000 kilometers as seen on the original tires. Like I said, the sidewalls aren't that pretty, but I don't think a lot of people are going to care about that. So here is my dad's 2011 Honda Odyssey minivan. Um, the new tires are installed now. They are the Michelin Premier LTX installed for, by Costco for $820. Initially I was quoted $890 taxed in for Alberta but there is a $70 rebate going on so my final total was $820. That includes a free nitrogen fill, free lifetime warranty, repair and uh, balance. And um, I think that's a pretty good deal. You could go with the cheaper option from Costco, which is the Bridgestone Alenza. Um, but I ended up with these ones because I think they are the better performing, better bang for the buck tires. Um, personal preference wise, I think the tire walls on these ones are not as pretty as the Continental Conti Pro Contact, which is the original tires on my 2011 minivan. Um, but I've driven this uh, van back from Costco on the same road, same speed, and my decibel reading was 81 inside the cabin. Um, it's not significantly less than my 84 decibel recorded with the Continental Conti Pro Contact plus that one Cooper tire. Um, but it seems overall a bit quieter even when I'm driving, so that's a bonus. Um, in terms of performance though, this, one, this tire seems a bit numb compared to the Continental Conti Pro Contact. So if you're going for the agile, sporty feel with your minivan, stick with those tires. If not, I think these tires fit me better because um, this van is mostly made for the highway driving. And what I want um, and how I define best is tires that are the quietest, last the longest, has a relatively good grip in both rain and dry and not too expensive and I think this tire fits the bill so like I said driving back um, it definitely feels like these tires are a bit softer than the Continental Conti Pro Contact um, turning corners they seem a bit numb compared to the Continentals uh, on straight roads, they absorb the bumps a lot better, I think. The ride seems less harsh. And overall, I think it refines their entire ride, making it more smooth and comfortable. So I think these are pretty good tires. Hope my review helped you. Um, stay tuned for the long-term review of these tires. And please subscribe. Thanks for watching.